What's up guys, I'm here somewhere at Serangoon. Have you guys heard of this store called Carito Trading? Yeah, I thought it didn't exist anymore. So when I was searching on Google last time for like old school trading card shops, this was one of the stores that popped up, but I couldn't really find any information about this store. Like there's no active social media, there's very little information or pictures. So it was one of those places like, is it even operational? But one of my viewers told me that he recently visited it and that it was still very much alive. So I knew that I had to go down and check it out for myself. You know guys, these places are like magnets i'm always drawn to them let's go find out whether it's open today all right guys so if you're at the sheng shong and you see the mcdonald's sign over here it's not that difficult to find carito trading is just in front so we can see the sign over here all right guys we are here at carito trading come let's go in and let's have a look wow look at this guys Alright, there's, there's so many things to unpack here. Okay, where should we start? Okay, let, let's start off with this corner over here. Alright, so you can see there's a mix. TCG products of different kinds. You got Pokemon over here. Over here, Champion's Path, Shining Fates. And then you got a mix. So I think the big three here are Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Magic and Pokemon as well. And of course, you see the top. So the, the uncle can watch TV over here as well. And then the row of sleeves. I'm sure some of you guys like this a lot. Okay, let's have a closer look, huh, guys. Celebration teens. And then some 25th anniversary. And check this out. We got we got full booster boxes over here, guys. Cheating Rain Battle Styles. I love it. This is like a super old school cabinet. The uncle told me that this store has been here for 30 plus years. And I just love it. Old school cabinets, but with with the latest TCG products. And then at the bottom, we got more accessories. Okay, your mats, uh, mostly sleeves, mostly sleeves and accessories. All right, guys, come check out this area. All right, so this is the cashier. And these are our booster packs, Digimon, Vivid Voltage, one for six, Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike, Shining Fates, Celebrations, and Evolving Skies. I'm definitely getting some Evolving Skies. And this store is well known for Magic the Gathering as well. So they do have a huge selection of Magic the Gathering products, as you can see over here. And over here as well, the uncle told me like, for example, this one, one pack can go for $30, two for 50. Oh guys, I think I see some, oh, these are like, okay, these are slightly older. No, this is like a uh, Sun and Moon era. These are all Sun and Moon era. Oh, this is a uh, Sword and Shield. And then over here, right, we got some of these. Wow, is it from XY Evolutions? Look at those two Charizards. And then we got the Landorus here as well. It may seem a bit chaotic here and there, but that's the beauty of it. There's amongst all these so-called messiness, there's organization. And look at these guys over here as we turn the corners. Look at these binders. Are there cards inside? Wow. There's a ton of binders over here, guys. And I absolutely love this, guys. This seems like your, you know, your childhood room and you came back and then you found all these hidden gems. Guys, let's focus on this one. What, what is this, guys? Is this like a, like an old school encyclopedia? Can we get this out? Okay, guys, so back to the top again. So we got more miscellaneous goodies, some shiny fake singles, sleeves, more sleeves, more Magic the Gathering. Oh, we got more singles over there. Check that out. And then if we go slightly up over here and I zoom in, you can see some of the new products here on the shelves as well. Okay, okay, wow. This is a first edition Typhlosion. Wow, this is really very old. Oh guys, the Blaziken. Yeah, this can be scanned. Before, it can be scanned into that game. Wow, guys. Wow. Let's check this out. Yes, guys, these are definitely vintage. These are definitely vintage. Oh, these are the first ad. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. Dark Haldum. Oh, so many vintage cards. Oh. These are unlimited. If you don't have 10% of the price, you don't have 10% of the price. Wow, I can't find it. It's hard to find. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that Rayquaza. Rayquaza, a lot of people like. Wow, guys, look at this. More over here, Slow King, first edition. There's so much first edition uh, cards over here. Okay, more, wow, that. Misty's Tender Crew. Lots of Gyarados. Oh, wow. Wow, check this out. The Dark Blastoise, one of my favorites. And the condition is really, really good, guys. Look at this. They've been kept in the binder for many years. Oh, some Japanese cards as well. Oh, guys, look at this. Johto starters. 
哎，这两个没有了，不卖卖掉了。我我剩下大概十个线卖完了，剩下这个。哎呦！以前来有一本书的吗？有,有很多线的。啊，有很多，有很多。Oh my gosh, guys! Wow! 好、oh、，guys，I saw something here. Look at this. Look at that empty box. Black and white. Nice. On top, we got more Ultimate Guard accessories. One Battle Academy there. Okay, some more boxes. Some Digimon. Okay, guys, we are here for the packs. So we will get some packs today. I feel like going only for Evolving Skies. All right. So we're gonna get some Evolving Skies. Okay. So time to choose some packs. Okay, I'll get five Evolving Skies packs. Okay guys, so I just left Karito Trading, got my packs, and now it's time to open them. Alright guys, once again, I was so happy to explore another old school shop and to share with you guys what we found there. So now it's time for my Evolving Skies pack opening. The reason why I'm going for Evolving Skies is because I'm still chasing those alternate arts, including of course the Umbreon VMAX AA. So I definitely would have wanted to stay there for a bit longer, but the uncle needed to go out and buy lunch really. I was like, speaking to him for like near close to three hours and then it started raining and he needed to go and get his lunch before the the rain became heavier but this is definitely one shop that i would love to go back once again so now it's time evolving guys we got our evolutions pack sylveon umbreon one duraludon will we get that sniping luck five packs this time all right five packs this time let's see if the sniping works let's go guys pack number one sylveon pack Hashtag Terrace Luck, of course, you gotta say that. Oh, it's it's an EV and a code card for you guys. Enjoy. It's an EV. We start off with an EV. Man, I love Evolving Skies. I think it's a timeless set. Guys, let's go. Digging Gloves, Stormy Mountains, EV, QD Fly, Hitmonchan, Low Ted, Sableye, Lantern, and it's a Hollow Rare Ente. Second pack. Let's go with the Duraludon pack. I would love to film another video and just go out and just hang out in the store. I mean, just love the old school vibes of the store itself. Cook up for you guys. And then of course, if you guys are into other games like Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh, he also sells them. Okay, so check it out. It's, it's pretty conveniently located. Serangoon Central. And there's a lot of food options there as well. I love it. All right, Cryogonal. Oh, three packs. Nothing here. Okay, and now it's down to the last two packs, guys. Umbreon and Sylveon. Save me, guys. Save me, guys. Gosh. By the way, code card for you guys, okay? <clears throat> claim it, claim it, claim it. Anything here? Galera Motrus. This one is considered good. Pretty good. And the last pack, Magic. Fingers crossed, guys. Let's go. And... It's a white coat card. Whew. Last pack magic. So we were two out of five there. Two out of five white coats. Let's go. Rebombe, Fluffy, Pyro, C Dot, Wubat, Eevee, Time Po, Kill Fly, and a Jump Laugh Hollow Rare. So we got two Hollow Rares and one Reverse Hollow Motrus for our pools today. So pools weren't that good today, but anyway, my objective is just to go out and check out Carlito Trading Old School TCG Shop. I have to ask the uncle why he named it Carlito. Anyone knows? Leave in the comment section below. And guys, I recently did a poll asking you guys what kind of content you want to see next. And we are definitely planning a few things. I mean, the, po the previous one was actually supposed to be the Pokemon Center vlog, but then they canceled some of the products, including the stacking tins. So there was really no point to go down because there was nothing exclusive. But it seems like you guys are also interested to see me open packs with random strangers so stay tuned we might do that very soon all right guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and i'll catch you very soon